since 1756, uh, the... Tonight, Omicron strikes Sydney's Black Friday sales, health alerts from Ride to Parramatta and the Central Coast. A replica gun found in the search for William Tyrrell. A new lead in the 30-year-old mystery of Sydney model Ravel Balmain. Flooding reaches the local grocer, Christmas favourites that'll cost a small fortune this year. And Sydney in the running for a second Ashes test, the Perth fixture all but called off. This is Nine News with Georgie Garden. Good evening. Just one. Strong enough to tip over fully laden trucks on highways. Even a clock tower is toppled during a storm that's also claimed lives. We'll have more of those pictures next. Cocaine, cash and a conspiracy to kidnap. Police at Rouse Hill round up a suspect. Oil prices fall, but petrol prices rise. The race to fill up now. And the little Sydney lamb taking on the world with a revolutionary cancer treatment and a unique and exciting COVID vaccine. Exclusive details coming up. Top of the property market in November with 100% clearance rates. We'll name them for you next. Use it or lose it. Timely advice for private health insurance holders. And Barbados breaks up with the Queen to be ruled by a Dane. Why, after 400 years, it's cut the royal cord to become a republic. For the impact of our state's floods to hit the city ahead, which fruit and vegetables will soon be in limited supply? Leaked footage of one of the world's most expensive mistakes, a fighter jet in a takeoff flop. And in sport, Brandon Smith apologised today, Cam. He did. To Georgie, he realised he offended his Storm teammates and plenty of others. So today, he backtracked, claiming he didn't mean to say Melbourne has a club drinking culture, but he defiantly said he would not stop being himself. We haven't heard from Tiger Woods since that car crash. Tonight, he speaks about nearly losing his leg. And because of COVID, this Ford fan missed Bathurst for the first time in 45 years. But he is back, baby. And the first day of summer is looking like a bit of a washout tomorrow with grey skies and showers. I'll tell you when the sun will reappear shortly. are usually the Christmas fruit of choice, but this season they'll be scarce or cost a small fortune. Also tonight, Westpac in trouble for charging fees to deceased customers. Eighteen down to fourteen degrees. Georgie? Good on you, Amber. Thank you. And that is Nine News for this Tuesday. Layla McKinnon is up next with The Current Affair. I'm Georgie Gardner. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy your evening. Good night.